financial problems. Elder law. Criminal law. Tax problems. Business matters. Divorce. Personal injury. Bankruptcy. Your life. Your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is why Chapter 13 can be so good and better than any payment plan. And to lead us off with so good, Brian Small, good morning. Good morning, Ken. And I, and I would love to say that I have some witty repartee to come back with over so good. But you know what? Not this morning. So good morning and let's have a great show. Jeff Linden. Good morning, Ken. Great to be here. And I am tickled that Brian used the word repartee. Just, I don't know why. Just, I'm not sure he knows what it means, but the fact wait, that wait, he wait, used wait. it was great. It, excuse me. Now I got it. I do believe that you used the word paramour in an earlier show. I'm just going to say, leave that out there. Jim Samasco, yes, welcome sir. back to the show. It's good to see you. Uh, always a pleasure, and I love the fact that you guys are expanding your vocabulary every day. I know. Time. We're going to get yes. out of sixth grade sooner or later. Very good. And I'm planning to go to La Jolla, California. La Jolla so again, La Jolla. yes. Uh, yes. We'll, we'll start off with, yes, that uh, it's right next to La Jolla. <laughs> so. Very All right, close. so we're going to talk about Chapter 13, why it can be so good and better than any payment plan. But before we get there, I want to do a step back in time a little bit because I want to put things in perspective. We always like perspective. And I want to start this show and several shows, I think, that we go forward in, in the next few weeks with the three-point retirement plan, which is own your home free and clear, have zero debt, and have some cash in the bank. This is the simple retirement plan for the everyday Joe who wants to know that he can get to a point of having financial security that he doesn't have to worry about putting food on the table and paying bills at the point where he and his wife want to retire. It actually works not just for Joe, but for Frank and Sally and Sarah, it works for everybody. Yeah, it's not the one where, I mean, I get, I'm sure you guys get them in the mail too every day. I get five invites to dinner a week, Flemings and all these places from a financial advisor, who's basically saying if you have net worth over 500 or 250, whatever they put in their little thing, they want you to come to dinner because they want to invest your money for you. And I'm not saying that it's, a bad idea to work with a financial advisor. I think it is a good idea, but that market is going for the person that has some substantial retirement or savings. And the first step you have to do is get to be in that position. And once you're in that position, then you can go, then it's fine, explore the financial advisor. If you have savings, you should do that anyway. But there's half of our population, and I read it again this week, has zero retirement funds. And zero, and if you, and let's just say the other half, I think the average was like 125,000 for, for at age uh, 65. That's okay, but you have to ask two more questions for that person. Do they own their house free and clear or are they still paying a mortgage? And are they paying three, four hundred dollars a month in credit card debt? And or, the or answer, more. Or more. And the answer is if they are, they are in no shape to retire, no matter what their, you know, if their Social Security check is, what's the average Social Security check? I don't know. It's 1800 like 1800 or so, yeah. Okay. I mean, it can go up to, you know, it, it kind of maxes out around 4000 if you were a high earner every year during, you know, dur during that period. But for most families, husband and wife, they're looking at, $3,000 a month in Social Security. So the three-point retirement plan is important and how it ties back to when we talk about bankruptcy or debt resolution is 
those tools are ways of the starting point for some people to get on track to obtain the three points. You've got to get rid of the debt so that you can take your money to pay off your house and take some more money and put it into savings. And it's critically important. So step one to get there is how do you eliminate the debt you have? Well, we and have what, what methods do you have to do that? We have a number of tools that are available to us. We, you know, when you come in and you're having financial trouble and you sit down with me, we, we look at budgeting. We look at whether or not we can fix your problem through budget management. Can we fix it through a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy? debt resolution. These are the, the tools that we have in our toolbox. Sometimes we combine them. The, the goal ultimately is to put you back in that position that you should be in to achieve the three-point retirement plan. Yeah. Let, me, let me kind of back up a little bit because we made an assumption here. I'm not, let's say you have forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 of credit card debt or you've got $20,000 of tax debt or you've got medical bills. That's the circumstance that we have to look at of saying we've got to get rid of that debt so that we can start taking the money that we have and saving it and paying off the home. If you have no debt, the three-point retirement plan is still important because it gives you a prioritization of I'm saying get, the, get everything paid off as soon as you can. Absolutely. And, and once we, we look at the picture, what is our goal? Our goal as attorneys for you is to find the least costly, most effective method to get you out of debt and put you on the road to having assets in the bank and being able to retire debt free. So the, the big picture is there and then each individual circumstances, wait, you've heard it before, the circumstances are individual to the individual and the solution is individual to the individual. Have, have you ever heard that before? I don't know, I'm getting old. Um. You know, I've heard it from Brian, <laughs> but, but, but to your point, budgeting's everything. You know, I run into people all day long and it surprises me how many people don't know what they need per month, don't know how much they can afford to spend per month. You know, it, it just shocks to me that uh, people don't budget their own funds. And the funny thing is, is truly, the more people make, the more people spend, and the less they understand where their money's really going. On that note, That's let's take a break, and we'll come back and we'll stay right on this. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We were just spinning. We just didn't know what was going to happen next. At Samasco Law, we deal with these issues every day, especially elder law. Pat went to work for Fran. Patrick was there holding my hand, kept saying, we'll get through this, we'll get through this. He got her husband Medicaid and in a nursing home. Samasco Law got the success they deserved. Samasco Law is definitely family to me. I really appreciate knowing all of you. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. 
It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. So Jeff, I cut you off right when the show ended. In addition, to the, in addition to spending everything they have, I think one of the biggest problems is most people don't know what they're spending. They're spending living paycheck to paycheck, but they're using their credit cards, and they don't really know what their outflow of cash is. Yeah, that's just like what Jim was saying too. It's like, I remember in that era of the my 40s, a while ago now, of when you had the kids overhead, I was carrying way too much credit card debt. I didn't know about this whole process and, and, this, and, and, and the changes that could be made. And I was just living, I, I would say, in the, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I knew how much I was spending. Everything I made is what I was spending because I would pay bills once a week and I'd write out my checks and then I'd have some money in the bank but when it came time to writing bills the following week there wouldn't be enough money in the checking account to write those bills it would have come from my next paycheck and yeah I was still making a contribution to the 401k but I was carrying way too much debt it wasn't until later that I've gotten rid of the debt that I became more conscious of how much I'm spending because the what I don't spend, I save, and then I'm moving that into funds to earn interest and earn a return, so I have goals. So budgeting is also goals, isn't it? It is. Well, budget management, which is a key component of getting clients on the right track, even after we've eliminated the debt, because we the goal is eliminate the debt and also make sure that it never happens ever again. And so if you give uh, a client, create good habits, good spending habits on the way, on the backside of having eliminated the debt, the opportunity then to save and protect yourself in your future is so much greater at that point. All right, so let's, let's, let's get into the analysis, Brian. How does this work? What, what do we do in terms of, all right, let's just take your typical situation where the, the, the client has debt. There's you know, fifty to hundred thousand dollars of credit card debt. There's some taxes and there's medical bills. How do you decide what the right tool is? Budgeting, bankruptcy, whatever. So the first thing that I do is I sit down with the client and I go over their income and expenses, and see what's going on. Do they have any money left over after they take after we take their net income and subtract their regular household expenses? the mortgage payment, the car payment, the electric bill, the gas bill. Cable. Does that include the credit cards? No, it doesn't. I want to see what's what's happening. And it's amazing if when people come in and we do the budget and we figure out what it takes to give them a livable budget, we find out that there's almost nothing ever left over to pay those credit cards, which tells us that which is why your credit card balances keep going up because what people will do is they will charge They'll pay the minimum monthly payment, but then they have no cash. Then they charge again. And the, the balances creep up because you're running, you have no disposable cash to pay the credit card Until bills. you max out your Until limits. you max out. And then that's when the phone call comes to me because Chase just cut off Mrs. Smith's credit card line. And now we have to see what can we do. Do they qualify for a Chapter 7? Of course, that's the least costly, most effective method to get out of debt. That's debt elimination bankruptcy. Wipe out the debt, get a fresh start. Do they qualify for a Chapter 13? Structured reorganization over time. Repay some or all of their debts over a period of three to five years. Sometimes a Chapter 13 is really more beneficial. It can <clears throat> stop a foreclosure, allow us five years to catch that, that arrearage that has accrued up 
It can stop a tax, property tax foreclosure. Again, five years to catch yourself up. So how do you decide between a 13 and a 7? Well, first we look at, as I said, is there any available money left over after household expenses and if there is? paid? Then we look at, do they qualify for Chapter 13? Can we structure that debt and pay as little as zero cents on the so, dollar to so, the credit card? So cards? if there wasn't money left over, is that more of a Chapter 7? That is more of a Chapter 7. But sometimes it really doesn't matter because what's the client's goal? Clients that call up and say, I'm losing my house to foreclosure, we're going to find a way. There you need the Chapter 13. We do. We need a Chapter 13. We're going to find a way to restructure their budget, which is why budgeting combined with Chapter 13 is so important. Yeah. So one, one of the things that you said that, that, that struck me is, and I see, we see it all the time, is you wait until you reach the limit before the emergency light goes on and then you seek help. But the problem is the period in time where you're creeping up to the limit, you're wasting all this money by paying interest and paying on these credit cards and just further putting yourself in the hole. It's kind of like, you know, the faucet, if the faucet is on open and the water's pouring out, you're fine. Then as the credit limit goes up or you're, you're reaching the point, all of a sudden the water stream is going slower, but you still have this money to work with from the credit cards. And then all of a sudden, once the valve is shut off and there's not even a drip, you go, oh my God, I've got no water to drink. I better call Brian. The time to call, though, is way sooner than that. It's not a question of when you've lost your available credit limit. It's a question of when you've gotten in, when you're carrying debt that you shouldn't have. The, the big picture is like this. If you're carrying more than even $7,000 worth of credit card debt over time, and you're not making $200,000 a year, then you've got a problem. If you're making forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, you get seven, you're going to be at 10. You're going to be at 15. You're going to be at 20. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of whether or not you can find a solution. Should you dive into the solution early? In other words, should you dip your toe in the water instead of diving into the deep end? You know Always, what, because you, you I can usually I, fix you, those you know, small... Solutions. You know what I've kind of seen? Is the person that has... Thirty, forty thousand dollars of credit card debt. If they're making a lot of money, they end up just going from thirty, forty to seventy, eighty very quickly. It's not even a question of the person that's making a lot of money that gets into the habit of having credit card debt seems to also carry more credit card debt. They do, hundred percent true. All right, let's take a break and we'll do a case study. We've got our clients Donald and Nancy out in the waiting room, and they want to come in and get some help. Donald has run a country. Nancy's run a Congress. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> if you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Pat was recommended by a friend who insisted that we really needed a trust. And he said, I know somebody who will do a good job for you. At Samasco Law, we deal with estate planning and trusts every day. We had excellent service from Samasco Law. Any questions we had were addressed. Our estate is in order and it had been set up so well that nothing needed to be done. I would just highly recommend Samasco Law. Time for announcements. So I remind our viewers to listen to us for One Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m., Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m., and on KISS 105.9, Sunday 7 o'clock a.m. Live seminars are back. 
Wednesday, May 18th, 6 to 7.30 p.m., Estate Planning 101, The Absolute Essentials. Be sure and join us. We're going to cover the basic elements of an estate plan, documents you need while living. We're going to make sure your assets go where you want them to go and how to avoid the cost of probate and what you need to know about probate. Attendees receive a $300 gold certificate off the cost of an estate plan. Sign up fabgross.com, lawnreality.com, or call. It's 888-235-HELP. Then on Wednesday, June 8th, 6 to 7.30 p.m., how to make debt a thing of the past. We'll go to all the methods we use to eliminate debt so that you can try and keep pace with your debt to actually save money for your future. Well, the whole goal is so you have something to retire with when that time comes. Debt elimination is a key part of that process. We're going to have a special segment with Jeff Linden on how to resolve tax issues. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Sign up for that one the same way, thabgross.com, lawnreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation. Just call our offices, 888-235-HELP, or go online, and there's boxes to click to sign up for a free consultation. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat or Jim Samasco, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, Sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Also, go online, check out the free reports, Resolving Tax Problems, the Real Solutions by myself and Jeff Linden, Bankruptcy Is It Right for Me by Brian Small, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan, and the Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, so case study. So Donald and Nancy, by the way, we're fighting in the waiting room, but we've calmed them down. There's a show. They're here. Um, they're both, you know, they're a compatible pair. Here's their situation. $50,000 of credit card debt. 20,000 in medical bills, 50,000 in back taxes, 17, 18, and 19. 17 is the big year, 30,000, then 10 and 18, 10 and 19. They're also behind on their house. They're facing foreclosure. The sale date is June 6th. So the first thing we do is we ask Donald and Nancy if they want to save their home. If the answer is yes, we're going to try, we're going to go down one road. If the answer is no, we may go down a different road. In this case, for this purpose, the right, answer here. is well, yes. Well, let me help you. Yes, I'm a big believer in real estate. I want to keep my house. No, I really don't care about the house. It's all about him. Okay. Um, so if they want to save their house, the first thing we're going to do is look at whether or not a Chapter 13 opportunity exists. So we have to look at their budget. All right. Their net. So here's their budget. Their net income net of taxes is 8166 a month. Their mortgage payment... 2500 big mortgage payment, $900 also is their taxes, 750 is their back taxes, 1250 a month on credit card bills, 450 a month they're paying on medical bills, utilities 500, cell phone cable 550, 
Donald's car 600, Nancy's car 550, gas auto insurance 600, food 1,000, miscellaneous entertainment 400. Their expenses are running them $10,050 a month. They're 1884 in the negative right now. That's why they're three months behind, four months behind in their mortgage payment. What do they do, Brian? Well, they need to file a Chapter 13 to stop the foreclosure, and they have to file the Chapter 13 before the date of the sheriff's sale. If you the sheriff's sale has come and gone, it is too late to save right, the home. So they've got until June 6th to file. So we better before file June by 6th. June 5th. Okay. So Preferably a little bit earlier than June 5th. You know, my response is, is we can do it the day before, but we would much prefer that we have as much time as possible to find the most effective solution. But you have to file before the sale. Absolutely. So we, f we get the Chapter 13 filed, and what we're going to do is we're going to restructure the debt. So we have some interesting issues with Donald and Nancy. There's certain things that must be paid, okay? In the Chapter 13, they have to be able to afford to pay their ongoing mortgage payment of $2,500. They have to be able to pay their ongoing property taxes, $900. Then they have to be able to pay something towards the, the arrearage on the mortgage, which is three months right now. So that's $7,500. Divided by what? Well, we can stretch that out over as much as 60 months, anywhere between 36 months and 60 months. And so we know that they, by looking at their budget, we can adjust. They've been paying Uncle Sam $750 a month. They've been paying their credit cards $1,250 a month and their medical bills $450 a month. But they were upside down. So that's like $2,400 a month that you've got but to they work didn't, with. No, I don't have $2,400 a month to work with. What I have is their income minus their expenses, which is really $566 a month. True. So when we take that $566 and we say, can we save the house and deal with all the other creditors, the credit cards, the back taxes, the IRS, everything? Can we take that 566 and use it? So and over, the answer is yes. So over 60 months, that's $35,000 you have to work with? That's right. And, and so you got to catch up on the house of 7,500? Catch up on the house of the 7,500. We're going to pay back the IRS, the taxes that have to be paid. Which ones? That would be, in this case, only 2019, the $10,000, because everything else is older than three years old. So they get rid of the others? They get rid of the others. They also get rid of the $50,000 for the credit card debt and the $20,000 worth of medical bills. Big picture is, is that they're struggling, and we can take what they can afford and force the creditors to accept it. So at the end of the day, because we're down to you know, last minute, they end up getting rid of the credit card debt, they get rid of the medical bills, they get rid of the back taxes, and they go forward with their life out of foreclosure. Absolutely. That's a wrap. It's a good solution. This is a case where Chapter 13 is a savior for Donald and Nancy. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with One Reality.